So, first things off, massive thank you to everyone for 500 subscribers. It's a pretty big milestone for me. I, uh, what was it? It was around, well, nearly, it was two years ago now, technically. But, you know, just over a year ago, I set myself the goal of reaching 100 um, before the end of the year. And that was in 2022. And here I am now at the start, well, before the end of uh, 2023, having hit 500. Uh, it's incredible. Thank you to everybody that has clicked that button. Uh, yeah, and if, you, if, if you're watching these and haven't, you should definitely click that button, because it's a really cool button, and it makes me happy with it. Yeah? 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 Good. Right. And for the celebration, I'm going to do a Q&A, uh, which is what we're doing today. I don't know why I said that as if I was framing as I'm going to. I am doing a Q&A. That's what this video is. I had a community post I was put out on Twitter, but we didn't get any interaction over there. <laughs> you should go follow me, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got a couple of questions over on the YouTube community post. It's been a week since I put that up, so I think it's uh, that time to record that so I can edit and get it up for when um, you're seeing this. So yeah, um, thank you to everyone that asked questions. If you have any more um, questions you'd like to ask or things you'd like to know in general, put them in the comments, and I might do another one of these at a thousand or something like that. But yes, let us get into it. So, which one should I do first? I, I Oh, in fact, you will do the, the funny one first. So I got um, the question. Smash or pass, anime edition, to which I asked for a list of 10 characters. I didn't get one, but um, a friendly viewer. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I'm, it's on screen. You know who you are. I'm just going to call you Philippe. That'll do, right? That's fine. Right? I'm sorry. Um, didn't give me one. A uh, Kubera themed one. A lot of these questions are Kubera themed, but that's perfectly fine. And I was kind of expecting that. So, smash or pass. Sagara. You don't need to ask. You, look, you know the answer to this. It's a, it's a hard smash. It's a hard smash. Even though I might die afterwards, a hard smash. Pa. Yeah, go on. We smash. Brilith. Brilith, we pass. I ain't doing my boy Agni like that. All right? Agni's a chill guy. We ain't doing him like that. Please. Um, pass. I don't know how old she is in season two, but I've currently not seen her in season three other than the introduction. So to me, she's still a, you know, a child. So no. Um, Lila. Smash. Sorry, Claude. You gotta deal with this. Uh, <laughs> Tio. Um, she is very much with Yeah, Smash. She is my type. Sorry, God have her. Um, Irie. Uh, yeah, go on. Go on. Arguin. I, I don't want to die. I, is the thing. I, I'd get eaten alive by um, a certain dragon if I did that. So pass. Rana. I can't do my boy Ran like that. So pass. And Tilda. Um, I feel like there's something going on there with loots. So we'll pass. I can't do my boy like that. <laughs> yeah, there's that one. The cheeky little uh, smash or pass. That's going to be a pain to edit, isn't it? Oh, well, whatever. Right. And since we did your quick smash and pass, Philippe, let's do your questions. There's a handful here. So my favorite book. That's a very tough question. I don't read many books, uh, if you could tell. It's finding it hard to read is hard. But um, I do quite like The Lord of the Rings. It's been a very long time since I've read them, though. And yeah, so there's that. I also, you know... Is say what you want, but the Harry Potter books are pretty good. I read those when I was much, much younger. They're not bad. Um, what other books have I read? <laughs> books that I've read. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that there. I think. <laughs> manga, my favorite manga. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, so I've done a video in the past on my guilty pleasure manga. So for a guilty pleasure answer, it's um, oh, uh, the Batsu Steku to say. Um, I can't. I think that was a full title, but I've read that whole thing. I really like manga. Uh, it's trashy as anything but it was a fun read um as for like an actually good manga that i really enjoy uh as you might find that i end up struggling with a lot of these because favorites are uh, something i don't know it's got i have a lot of things i really enjoy but my favorite above all mm. favorite manga um i think i will give that to hmm I, I genuinely don't know what what uh I think we'll give it to what this one I've read not too long ago. I caught up with, but I really quite liked uh, Tomodachi Games manga, and maybe and maybe Darwin's game. Both manga I read I've read um, in the year that's just gone by, um, twenty twenty three. But yeah, I, I mean, maybe ask me a different time. If I was asked at a different time, I might give a completely different answer to that. But yeah, we'll go with one of those two. Favorite manhwa right now that does have to be Kubera, um, easily at least right now. Ask me again. That could change in the next couple of weeks, months. Who knows? But right now it's Kubera. Favorite TV series? Uh, uh, you might have just heard that um, disconnect sound. That was that 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 was me, not you. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Favorite TV series? Um, I don't watch a whole lot of TV, and I haven't really, um, even from a young age. But 
I think so the few TV shows I have watched, I have to give it to um, it's a British uh, comedy from, I can't remember what year it's from, I think it's maybe the 80s or 90s, uh, Only Fools and Horses, very funny, uh, it's a lot of British humour, a lot of Cockney humour, you might not get it, <laughs> to be honest, but I, I really like Only Fools and Horses, uh, it's probably my favourite TV series. Favourite band, uh, right now that has to go to The Smiths, but again, there's probably a lot of recency bias there, so I'm thinking maybe, you know, throw in like a cheeky little bit of My Chemical Romance. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, nostalgia there. Um, I'm also a big fan of some smaller, some bands you might not have heard of, uh, The Lumineers and Mumford and & Sons. I quite like those guys as well. Eric Singer. Um, I'd probably give it to Ardo, a Japanese singer. You probably know who Ardo is. I, I, I think she's great. I would like to go see her um, live concert, but uh, finding time and also tickets sold out like really quickly. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but yeah, Ardo's probably my favorite singer. Uh, favorite sport, uh, and this is an interesting thing, um, favorite sport, there was once back when I was um, y a little bit younger, I was, about, I was talking with someone, and they said that martial arts and boxing and such don't count as sports, and that fucking just made my brain ache, um, because it's just unbenignly stupid. And my favorite sport is taekwondo, it's um, something I've trained in, I'm a black belt in it, it's been quite a while since, um, since I've trained in taekwondo, it's been a couple of years, but... Yeah, Taekwondo is my favorite sport, um, for personal reasons, as you can imagine. Um, favorite player of that sport? Uh, hmm, kind of a hard one to answer with Taekwondo, and to be fair, I didn't really keep up with the competitive scene. But um, my teacher, who I will not name because it'll be quite easy to figure out very accurately where I live um, by knowing who they are, um, is probably my favorite. He did take part, and I, I think it was a pretty... Was it, world championship i think it was but yeah he, he's very good uh yeah and also yeah again personal reasons he taught me i'm biased and favorite video game this is an incredibly difficult question this is a very very difficult question um <laughs> i play i played a lot of games many many games in my time picking one is impossible so i'm not going to i'm gonna give a handful um so for like childhood nostalgia i've got to give it to like pokemon platinum that is one of my favorite games as a child that I played. I, I love it. Uh, it's, you know, shitloads of childhood nostalgia. I've got to at least mention it. Um, for a recency bias thing, Armored Core 6 was incredible. I fucking loved that game. I've mentioned it a handful of times in videos. Armored Core 6 was amazing. Um, other games I've got to give credit to. Rainbow Six Siege. Um, I've just got a lot of good memories playing with that with friends. Same with Overwatch. Uh, it's just a lot of... Um, Smite as well as the MOBA. League of Legends. And ironically, I do really enjoy. I like MOBAs, so they're there. Um... Ooh. Yeah, and actually one thing I will give another shout out to, probably, this probably is easily in my top five games, um, is the Brady Default series. Uh, Brady Default, Brady Second, Brady Default 2. I fucking love those games. They're incredible. You should play them on the 3DS and Switch. Uh, yeah, in that order as well. Anyway, thank you for that. And also, I see you in most videos as well. So that's good to see. Anyway, moving on. Next question. What got you to start reading Kubera? Well, the first thing that triggered me to start reading Kubera was I saw... Uh, I don't really know what brought it up, but it was, I think actually the first time I heard about Kubera was um, Dr. Bonehead, when I think Tarragon was on hiatus, he was doing some streams of it. I never watched any of them because it's during an awkward time for me because I live in the UK. He, was, he streams at like 1am for my time, so it's a bit awkward, um, especially around when he was doing it, but yeah. Um, that's when I first like became cognizant of Kubera as a series. I probably had it you know, pop up here and there from time to time in, you know, when I was like... Um, mindly involved in the webtoon thing from Tarot God. Um, but back then, obviously, this is before I'd started. This is, I barely even started making content at this point. And then what got me to actually read it was the little bit of discourse that went on. I, I imagine this has gone on for a long time. But um, the, which is better, Tower of God or Kubera? Which is, I think, a completely dumb question, a bit of a stupid compar- a bit of a pointless comparison. I might genuinely make a video on it myself, even having said that, uh, just to give my two cents to the debate. Because I think I have an expected opinion, um, but I at least want to give it out there, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it was a big, those two things were like, and at the time I was like, well obviously Tower of God's better, because I'd only read Tower of God, it's like the only web webtoon I'd ever read. <laughs> and then eventually, you know, I started reading Kavera, and I you know, made the videos on it, and now here we are, um, <laughs> with it being probably my favorite, you know? So yeah, that's how I got into reading Kavera. It was through discourse and other content creators. And that question was from Jacob Holland. Thank you very much. Next question. From Arocat4749. Um, what Kubera character would you want to spend a day with? 
So you've got the funny answer, you know, the meme answer to go in line with, you know, what I'm known for. <laughs> and that would be Sagara. But I feel like I'd end up dying, in all honesty. I feel like she'd kill me. Um, because I don't think I'd prove useful, and I'm just a human being. So, yeah, I don't think I'd survive. I mean, it might be a fun day, but I, I probably wouldn't last long. <laughs> but if I'm being real, I'd probably want to hang out with, like, uh, Ran or Agni. Because they seem like great guys. They'd be cool to talk with. I feel like Agni, because he's, you know, he's a god, he's been around so long. You'd be able to have some interesting conversation with the guy. I genuinely think that's what it is. I, I think Ran or Agni would probably be the ones to hang out with. Probably leaning more toward Agni because of that, um, yeah. Long life thing. Although, dealing with having to think about inside would be interesting. But yeah, anyway. What got you motivated into making YouTube videos and kept you motivated to do so from uh, Riku Tech? So, I've always been interested in making YouTube videos since I was very, very young. Um, yeah, cringe, I know, um, but leave me alone, alright? Because uh, I'm a very typical. I used to be, and still kind of am, a pretty antisocial person. And so YouTube, uh, to me, always seemed like this great way of you know, putting myself out there and without actually having to, you know, put in a whole lot of effort. And even if, you know, nobody cared about what I put out, you know, it's there, I guess. I, I've, I've always wanted to do something like this, uh, but I never ended up doing it for a very long time until I got motivated to actually do it properly um, back in 2022. Was it 2022 or was it 21? I think it was 21, actually, yeah. Uh, I, ah, God. Yeah, I think I've had, yeah, I've had the channel for three years. Jesus Christ. Um... Was it 21? Was it 20? I can't, look, I can't bloody remember. It's, it's been a little while. Um, it was February. I know that. That's when my first video went up. <laughs> February 28th, I think, is when my first video went live or something like that. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, but yeah, it's, um, it's something I've always wanted to do. And so I eventually, you know, ended up doing it when I got massively obsessed with anime. I made, initially, this channel was anime themed, if you couldn't tell. Um, not quite so much now. Um, We've changed, we've moved on a little bit, we've grown, we've developed, you know, a little bit of sauce here and there. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I was trying to think, I think it was 20, actually, 2020. I could check, but I, not right now. I can't be asked. Um, <laughs> I'll probably put an infograph, I probably won't edit that the year I actually started on screen. I, I won't be bothered. Um, but yeah, as for what keeps me motivated to do so, well, I really enjoy what I do. The voice acting stuff is really enjoyable, um, and I read webtoons anyway. So being able to create videos on it um, and do something I enjoy simultaneously, it you know, it's it, you know it's just it's just fun. I enjoy making videos. It's a hobby right now. It's enjoyable, good stuff. You might think it eats a lot of my time, but in reality, because of how little I have to edit because of what I do, um, it doesn't really eat that much time. It's pretty simple, pretty relaxed. So yeah, it's not like a strain or anything. I just really enjoy doing it. Um, Mainly the content I do now, the content I used to do, I still enjoy. But um, I think I enjoy, I definitely enjoy what I'm doing now much, much more. And also, there's you guys. You know? Ain't that, you know, corny of me to say. Right, and we have oh, one last question from Mespret. Thank, uh, congratulating him on hit 500. What a nice guy. Thank you very much. I've got a couple of questions. So, here we go. Favorite manga, manhwa, anime, genre? Um, probably drama. I really like drama. Um... Like, if I, picking a genre, obviously drama is very kind of inc inclusive. It includes a lot of stuff. Inclusive, it includes a fucking great sentence self. It includes a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I really like drama stuff. Romance dramas, people dramas, drama dramas, action dramas, fantasy dramas. Probably fantasy, though, as well as up there. But I, I really like drama. I, it, it, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I enjoy it. Schadenfreude is quite fun as well. Thriller as well. I really like thrillers. As well, yeah. But fantasy, um, drama, and thriller are probably, you know, in my easily in my top. Probably drama at the top, though. Um, do you have any plans on starting any new series or webtoons? Um, yes, I do. As for when, I don't know. But I have been thinking. I do really want to read because I'm now behind on the Ebonite by quite a bit, and I did a video on it um, last year. As of now. <laughs> As of this going up, I should say. Not as of now, I've been recording this, but whatever. Timey, why me bullshit, huh? But, um, yeah. I did a video on the Ammonite. I really like it. I really, really enjoy reading the Ammonite, but I just haven't got around to catching up. And so I might record some videos here and there, see how they do, and if they do good. Well, even if they don't do good, I might still do them. But I'm thinking with the Blue Lock, because obviously it's a manga, it doesn't release every week. What I might do is if, um, if record some Ammonite videos, 
And then, if there's ever a week where I can't record the Blue Lock chapter for some reason, or there isn't one, I will upload a Emini video instead. And then, you know, if they do particularly well, I might just make them a mainstay and put them on like a Saturday upload or something like that, and then figure something else out. Or just have uh, Emini sit as a, in case I need an upload series, you know, something like that. And I might do that with other series as well, because there's some other stuff I've read that I kind of want to catch back up on. Um, but yes, I definitely do plan to start some other stuff um, for video. I'm, I'm assuming that... Um... Actually, maybe that wasn't... I'm thinking about it, actually. That question is probably about reading stuff. Um, I don't really know. I don't think I have any plans to start reading anything. But that's my YouTube stuff. The stuff I want to do for the, 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 the YouTubes. But um, if you've got any webtoons you recommend I read, uh, leave those in the comments. And I might get around to some of those. And if I particularly enjoy them, they will get a uh, video. Uh, yeah. So yeah, go do that. Um, maybe reacting to anime. Yes, I do plan to react to anime. Uh, yeah. Um, the special, mainly probably going to be only the Tower of God anime, and you know, season two of it. And depending on how that does, maybe react to more stuff. But it's kind of awkward to do. Um, you know, finding the time to set aside to. I mean, watching the episodes is fine. That's not something I need to struggle to find time to do. But then reacting to it, that's going to be a, a tiny bit of a hassle with editing and setting that up so that you guys have something interesting to look at. Um, but I might do it. I'm going to try and do it with the Tower God series. The Tower God anime. Uh, and we'll see based on that, you know, how things go. <clears throat> Which series are you usually looking forward to recording the most? Right now, it's Kubera um, because I really, really want to read it. Um, like, genuinely. I, I just really want to read Kubera, more of it. Uh, it's really good. So, that's I'm, that's one I tend to be most excited to record. I'm always... There's nothing that I'm not excited to record, but Kubera is the most exciting. Um, actually, here's an interesting one. I'm actually going to give you a little uh, little story here. Speaking of, it's about ORV. When I first started reading ORV on the channel, I actually wasn't enjoying it all that much. Like, I'm not even joking. I was... It was alright. I didn't think it was bad. It just hadn't really hooked me. But then as I've begun to read it more, because of doing videos on it, like, I probably would have dropped it, I think, if I hadn't done videos on it. And by doing videos on it, and, by, and getting into it more, and getting further and further in, and getting to where it's really getting juicy, um, I've begun to really love it. So, I guess, you know, there's another answer to why I, I keep making these videos, is they give me an excuse and a reason to keep, you know, stick with series that I enjoy. Because, well, you know... If I hadn't been doing videos on it, I would have probably dropped the RV. And I'm glad I didn't. So yeah. Um, yeah, I thought I'd say that because uh, it came up to usually, you know, which series I enjoy the most for my videos. But yes, and the last question. Out of all the manga slash manhua you've read, who's your favorite protagonist so far? Um, I'll split this into both. Um, so we've got manga. My favorite manga protagonist, uh, manga anime type beat, um, would probably be... Manga anime light novel. I'm including light novel that. You know, the, the Japanese side of things, uh, I guess. Probably Hikigaya Hachiman from Origairu. Origairu is my favorite anime anime and light novel series, so I'm very, very biased in that direction. I'm also a big fan of uh, uh, Ichigo from Bleach. I really like Bleach, though, so there's that. Um, there are definitely other characters, other manga protagonists that I really like that are just escaping me right now. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> As for Manhua, um, probably Nagyan. From uh, the Ember Knight. There's a throwback. See? I really like Nagyan. I find his character really interesting. Um, and I guess I'll include one for the shows that I'm reading. Um, I do think that Lee's is my favorite of the webtoon protagonists for the ones that I'm reading out of. Dogja, Balm, and herself. I think Lee's is my favorite as a protagonist. But yes. Those are my answers to those questions. If you... If any more end up on that community post between now and this going up, so now being when I'm recording this, literally the last day of 2023, and this going up, which will be uh, the third of 2020, third uh, of January 2024, I think this is when it's going up. Um, I will answer those in the community post directly, or if you put them in the comments, I will answer them. Or if I think they're particularly interesting, I will put a pin in them, and I will use them for another Q&A at some point. Although I might answer them anyway, just so you know that I've seen it. Well, then you'll know I've seen it, because I like in high every comment. But anyway, with that out of the way, I've been Animosity, you've been you, and here's to another fantastic year of videos together. Hope to catch you all there. Ta-ta. Bye now.